Hey guys, um, so when we last left off, um, we were able to insert things into our database uh, using a template event. Um, so now the question is how do we uh, display those things? How do we fetch things from the database and actually show them somewhere? Um, and so let's get started, we'll make a template. Give it the name of, uh, of list items. Close that tag. And now um, let's let's make a line break here, and we'll just echo out this uh, this template up here right below the add item form. Okay, so. Let's list them out like in an uh, ordered list. So you can see like, you know, one, two, three, four. Um, and the way to, to iterate over all of the items in your list, uh, so if you go look up handlebars, JS, and you should probably read a lot of this like, uh, and just kind of get a feel for what all, for what, what all is capable. Um, but one of the helpers, and you can make your own helpers, you can have helpers that just iterate over uh, JSON data and do specific things to it, and you can make your own, but one of the ones that's, that's built in is the each helper. And the way it works is, here's the syntax, uh, it's hash each, and then whenever you want to end it, you say slash each. Uh, you have to pass in this, uh, this variable here, which is some JSON data, um, so this, this is the value that you're going to be iterating over. And then where it says this, this is, uh, this refers to each iteration of that data. So if we come over here and we say, uh, hash each, and then <clears throat> we'll say all items. And this isn't made yet. We'll make we'll make this uh, all items thing here in a second. But right now, we're just setting up the template for it. So we'll end our each, and then for every every item in all items. So for each thing in that JSON data, we're gonna make a list item and we'll just say this. Now. <clears throat> the way to make uh, variables and uh, things that you can use over here uh, is to say template dot and then whatever template we want to use this variable in, so list items, and then the name of the variable that you want to create. So we'll say all items, and that way, you know, right now we're creating this variable to be used over here. So we'll say all items, and then equals, and we'll pass it a function. Um, <clears throat> now remember our uh, collection is called items, the capital I. So we're going. What what we want to do is get all of the items. So all the data in our collection of items. So we'll say items, and then we'll just say find, and then. If you don't pass it anything, it'll find everything. So everything in the items collection. So in Mongo, our items collection, which is the same thing as a table in SQL, uh, it's just the Mongo terminology for it, is called a collection. Um, so everything in the items collection, we want to return. And actually we should return that. So now what this should do is it should spit out all the items in that collection in an unordered list. So if we refresh, let's add some stuff to it. Now you'll see it's <clears throat> it is getting that stuff, but it's it's returning things, but they're just objects. Um, and the way to fix that is if we change this from this to uh, whatever 
our field is that we put that uh, item into. So right here where we said items insert, and then we gave it this keyword where it says item. That's the field name, like the column name or whatever. Uh, so if we <clears throat> pass that, instead of just saying, you know, this, because whenever it's iterating over all of these items, it's finding everything in the database. So like every record, uh, if you'll remember, if we uh, go over to items and we do find, and then we say fetch, you can see that it's, it's returning entire objects. And these objects have things like the ID in them uh, as well as the field, the only field that we added to it. Uh, but all, every object or everything in your Mongo collections, every uh, bit of data has an ID that goes with it. So they're all actual objects. So what we can do is whatever we want to fetch. So we want to fetch this item thing right here. We can sw switch out this for item. And that's and now if we refresh it, or we don't have to refresh, look, it's just updating. So we hit submit, we get hello. Um, something else I wanted to go over, like now, so that's pretty cool. Like now we can add things to the database through a form and we can echo them out. Um, but something else I wanted to go over is like, if you want to hit enter, just to add you know stuff in it, bam, and then bam. And you're gonna be able to hit enter instead of having to stop and drag your mouse over here. Uh, we can do something, let me look this up real quick to make sure I'm doing it right. If we look up event maps, and I just went to the docs.meteor.com and searched for event maps and clicked on the first link I found, and it takes you to the event map section. Um, let's see. I don't know if it says it in here or not, but what we can do is we can pass, uh, we can change this section up here because this is where we're inserting the data. So we're saying, you know, click, submit, but there's also, we can pass, um, come over here and look, we can pass key press or key up. So what we'll say is comma key up. And then whenever they do the key up, we should be looking at the item, like the actual text input. So if they do key up on the item, then we want to do the same thing. Now if we save that, what do you think will happen whenever I start typing in here? The second I start typing things, the second I let go of the key and I go, and it says key up, it's going to insert it. So we, <clears throat> we need a way to test to see if somebody hit enter or not. And the way to do that is to say, uh, let's see, if it's a key car equals 13. This might be wrong. Let's test it out real quick though. Oh, key car isn't defined. Maybe key code. Sorry about this. Uh, this is what real coding is like, though. It's when you're a noob like me, uh, it's just going to tell me the key codes. How do I test for it? Oh, I know. Okay. I have to pass an event and then. <clears throat> Sorry, I just remembered how this works. Okay, let me make sure that this is how it works. Before. 
All right, cool. Okay, so what this does is, is it says, um, I wanna pass an event, like some data along with this. Uh, this basically just lets you refer to the event that happened. So whenever uh, the, the key up is the event. Um, so whenever that key goes up, the data that I wanna pass along with it, I wanna see which key was pressed up. And this which thing is like a jQuery thing. Well, it, <clears throat> there's two things. There's one called which, and there's another one I think called key code. And they work on different browsers. So the which one works on like a handful of browsers and the key code one works on a handful of browsers. But with jQuery, how they make uh, everything like cross browser compatible, they, they just decide to run with which. So since we're using jQuery anyway with uh, Meteor, we can just run which and it'll test and see, you know, which key was pressed. And then we can do, and 13 is the key code for uh, the enter key. So I'm saying, you know, key up the item. So whenever the key goes up on this input, check and see if it's the, the enter key. If it is, do the same thing. Um, and right now we're repeating a bunch of code. So what we can do is put that in a function. And if we put that function up here, uh, I'm like give it a variable. We'll call it insert item. a little bit cleaner um, and it functions the same. And if I hit enter, what? Oh, I didn't delete all of it. Oh, I put a dot. button so it works both ways now um, so now we know how to enter data and how to save it how to insert it into the database and also how to list it um, in real time so that's how you do that in meteor um, there's there's another way that you can do this that's even neater than having to repeat both of these and it's like uh, to test which type of click, some, something to do with type. But um, I, I forget it right now, so I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. But hopefully this taught you something and uh, you continue checking out Meteor because it's pretty awesome.